Okay, I haven't even started off this vlog yet, but it's now 5.30. We went to Costco. I had a really slow morning. We went to Costco at like 2.30, 2.45, and we went through basically every single aisle. We did a really big Costco restock. This is the last weekend before Christmas, and then there's New Year's, so we really needed to go this weekend so that way we have lunch meal prep and dinner stuff and you guys know if you guys have seen my Costco hauls we do pretty big restocks every couple of months to last us a few months and we really do save a ton of money doing it this way so we have a pretty big haul this time so I'm gonna show you guys what we got some things were definitely not necessary what is this Cuban coke or Cuban, Cuban soda it's called iron beer and it's a cuban soft drink or soda christian is cuban so we got we got a case of that we also got a case of coke minis these are just nice to have in the fridge um got this big bag of rice cauliflower stir fry this is great for meal prep to do with orange chicken from trader joe's just really good to have and they sell huge bags of it at costco so i got two bags this time because we go through it pretty quickly. Got this um, red chili pepper spread. It's good with cheese and crackers. Got this garlic and herb seasoning. We wanna try and season our chicken a little bit differently. So we're trying to find new seasoning and flavors and things like that to cook our dinners with. Got Tide Pods. We get this big container of Tide Pods from there and just so much cheaper than buying them from Target. You buy them from Costco. I saw that they had this and I love the Bonza pasta and their little individual serving sizes. Got this. Christian thought it would be nice to have for salads or we can even put this on a sandwich, put it over pasta. Just something really easy to have. Got this cauliflower crust pizza. This pizza is really good just to have in the freezer just on hand. If you guys know, you know um, the beef pot roast. It's so, so good. I've been eating this since I was young growing up. I feel like when you're an adult, you kind of grow up and then um, you buy the same things that you used to eat as a kid. So this was one of them and it's so good. It's such a good comfort food meal with mashed potatoes and like mixed vegetables. It's really good. Got the um, stuffed bell peppers. We usually eat it for dinner and then lunch the next day. I got this last time and it's so, so good. Spinach, artichoke, and Parmesan dip spread. It's a huge container. I can't find it anywhere else but Costco. I wish they sold it in smaller container sizes, but it's really good. Got all of our meats. Got three packs of three ground beef. We got this Wagyu ground beef to try. Be nice for burgers. 
chicken, bunch of ground turkey. Got this big bag of mixed vegetables. I always keep mixed vegetables in the freezer and I usually get them from Publix, but got a huge bag for cheaper at Costco. Love rice cauliflower. We're gonna try this. Just a little switch up for easy um, chicken dinners. Just thin sliced, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Be easy, it just comes with a bunch of them frozen. Got a bunch of eggs. Eggs are so expensive at Publix for organic eggs. This costs just, I think just over $7 for a huge pack of 24, and I feel like you can't even get a 12 pack of organic eggs for $7 at Publix, so I just bought two containers to have because we, we obviously eat eggs every single weekend for breakfast, so we go through them pretty quickly. So it's just cheaper to buy them from Costco. And then we got these chips, sweet chili and sour cream. It sounded really good. So, gonna put all this stuff away. Huge, huge Costco restock. I think I'm gonna hit Trader Joe's tomorrow to get like maybe some fun holiday themed stuff because Christmas is next weekend. And do maybe just a small Trader Joe's haul tomorrow because it's already 5.30. So I'm gonna put it all away and then I'll pick up the camera a little bit later. Hello, I haven't talked to you guys all day today basically. I've just been, I took it really easy this morning, which was nice, but now I just wanna sit down and talk to you guys for a second. I have a little collective haul. Um, I got something sent to me by a brand that I wanna share that I'm excited about. I bought a few things for myself, and of course, the advent calendar I want to share. And after Chris and I are going to Boo Gardens to do the Christmas light walkthrough, I wanted to go last year, but we just never got around to it. So I'm excited to go this year. And I'm pretty sure they do it every year and they do it through the new year. So if you live in Orlando, um, it's at Lou Gardens and um, it's supposed to be really nice. I've never done it, but I'll vlog a little bit while we're there tonight and then we're gonna go eat dinner. Um, it's the last weekend before Christmas, so we're trying to cram all these Christmas things into this weekend. So, um, I'm going to do the advent calendar first. The advent calendar has been really perfume heavy, which I kind of do like because I don't have a lot of perfumes, especially mini perfumes, and I feel like these are really nice to have for work bags, um, purses, car center consoles, so you're not carrying your giant nice perfume around. Um, you can have little ones. So I'm gonna quickly share what I got this past week in the advent calendar and then um, open today. I'm really excited about this perfume that I got, Replica Beach Walk, and I have been dying to try a replica perfume of some sort, and this one smells so good. Reminds me of summer. Very like fresh, kind of like just beachy, like you just left the beach. It's It smells so good. I almost am tempted to buy like the full size perfume. That's how good it smells. Love this. Next, I got another perfume. It's not my favorite. It's Dulce by Rosie Jane. I've actually never, can you guys see that? I think it's like barely picking up, but I like it because it's a roller bomb, but I think it's like really sweet. And I usually don't do like candy smelling perfumes. I like floral smelling perfumes, but um, the candy smelling, like very sweet. I don't love them, but I like how it's a roller bomb because it's a lot easier than this where you have to take off the lid and like kind of like dump it on your wrist. I guess what that's what the lid's for to rub it on your wrist. But I really do like how this is a roller bomb. So this is really nice for travel. Just to like quickly like roll it on yourself. So I got that Necessaire body lotion. This was good when I tried it. I just... Maybe I just didn't use it enough to really see a difference. I really just like my drugstore moisturizer, but um, I'm excited to kind of use it again and see how I like it. Maybe I'll test that tonight and see how moisturizing it is tomorrow when I wake up. I haven't used any of this stuff. I did use this today, which I don't want to butcher this name, but I've seen this brand before. I've never tried any of their products. And it's an activating serum, so you put it on before any type of serum, moisturizer, or anything at the beginning of your skincare. And I put it on today. I don't, you obviously, I think, I don't think you can notice like a difference right off the bat, but I'm excited to use this and if potentially purchase it 
for the future like the regular size bottle next i'm so happy that i got these these are my favorite all-time favorite i've been using these for years since i don't even want to think maybe my senior year of high school or my freshman year of college i've been using these they're the dr dennis gross um extra strength daily peel pads these are absolutely incredible you notice such a difference when you wake up the next morning after using these so it's a two-step process basically i wonder how many three come in here which is perfect so i do the skin cycling so i do um, an aha and a bha night one and then retinol night two and then two nights of active recovery so i would use this on my night one but it has the one step which is the exfoliate and smooth and then the next one the second step is the anti-aging neutralizer this is like the one holy grail product that i feel like i don't think i could ever live without i always have these um i probably don't do it as much because i do use the osea aha which i really do love and it is natural um beauty and it's just really easy not too harsh on my skin which i love this i probably do once a month or like every two to three weeks for one night and your skin looks so just like refreshed healthy glowy the next day it's like something that i truly will always purchase they are very pricey so i'm very glad that i got three treatments in my advent calendar but this is truly such an amazing product you will actually notice a difference so highly recommend these now let's go ahead and open what's the date it's the 17th okay so today is the super goop glow screen which i've only used the regular one i haven't used the glow one which i'm excited to try the regular one just kind of gives me little bumps if i don't use um a toner after i cleanse my skin at night it gives me like little bumps on my skin like little pimples so i didn't love the regular sunscreen for my face by super goop i love the body sunscreen i think it's great um but i've never tried the glow screen so i'm kind of excited to try it but i just have to use a toner when i take it off like i double cleanse and double cleansing isn't enough to prevent little bumps on my skin after using the regular super goop on my face i have to use a toner after it's kind of crazy so i'm gonna try this out i'm excited because I've seen people use the glow screen and their skin looks so good and glowy. Next, I'm gonna share, this is like on the perfume page. This is like such a funny thing. I feel like I've, I had like three perfumes. I, I don't really have like a huge perfume collection. So I'm really excited to have like all these different perfumes to try, even like the little mini ones. And these I'm really excited about. This company reached out to me and I've Never heard of them until now, um, Dossier. And they make perfumes that smell like the more expensive perfumes. Like I bought one that smells just like the Baccarat Rouge perfume that I have that's so pricey. It's nuts how expensive it is. So this is such a great idea if you want basically the smell for less. So it comes with a little card and it tells you the notes, what it's inspired by, things like that. And this first perfume is Ambery Saffron and it smells like the Baccarat. The packaging is so minimal. And what I like about it too is the cap. It is magnetic. So it goes on like the packaging, the detail is really nice. Um, and it smells identical to the Baccarat Rouge and it smells so, so, so good. That's the first one that I got. The second one that I got, this one I'm excited about because I can't justify buying the Le Labo Santal 33 perfume. It is just another very expensive perfume, but I got the Woody Sandalwood and it is inspired by the Le Labo Santal 33 scent smells exactly like it i bought the little mini one a few months ago for like six dollars off their site to just try it out love the scent love it on me and this smells just like it so i'm so excited to have this because i truly am not going to go out and buy maybe eventually i'll buy it for like a very special occasion um you know like how people have like wedding i'm not engaged or anything or have a wedding coming up anyway but you know how people do 
wedding scents, those signature scents that they buy specifically for their wedding. I feel like those are the times that I would maybe justify a perfume like that, but this smells just like the Le Labo. So I highly recommend checking out Dossier. The perfume pricing is about one third or one fourth the price of the real thing. And I think that is just such an incredible deal to be able to smell exactly like the high-end $400 perfume for much less. This is them. I'll link the exact ones down below. They have tons of other high-end inspired perfumes on their site. So if you're interested in taking a peek, if you have a certain high-end perfume that you're looking for, don't want to purchase the big bottle of, check out the dossier site because they, nine times out of ten, might have it there for much much less so wanted to share that next i just wanted to share something really silly but um i participated in the bath and body works candle day sale the candles were like 9.95 or 9.99 for the three wick and i got two scents which smells so good i know it's like towards the end of christmas anyway but I got the mahogany balsam scent, which if you guys are familiar with the mahogany teakwood scent, it is like a Christmas tree and the mahogany teakwood scent combined. It smells like masculine with the Christmas tree. It just is really, really good. They haven't, I don't remember them having it last year and my sister bought me one two years ago for Christmas and it's my favorite and I refused to burn through it because I didn't... Like I still have it, you're actually, the camera is sitting on it. I didn't want to burn through it because I didn't know that they were gonna come out with it again. I thought it was just discontinued, but they had it again, so I picked it up. I don't necessarily love the outside packaging of some of their candles, but it's fine. It smells really good. So I really only buy Bath & Body Works candles when they are on sale, and I thought it'd be the perfect time to just get two of them for the candle day sale. And the next one, I actually really do like the packaging on the outside. I think it's so, so cute for some reason. I love the little car and the tree. I think it's so cute. It's the Tis the Season. And this one is rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. And I really love the packaging. The candle smells so good. So that's what I got, just two candles from Bath and Body Works. And then, Lastly, just something that I picked up from Amazon and it's something that I'm going to start in the new year and I'm excited about starting it to be honest because I've heard about this book for a while but I got the journal version of it and it's the Daily Stoic Journal. So it's basically just, I want to say it's just like the book but it is the journal form of it. So for example, and it starts at the new year so I thought it'd be perfect to buy it now so I'm starting it on basically the first page because January 1st is the first day of the book. I think it just makes you think deeper about like yourself, about life. Like January 1st, it says what things are truly in my control and it has a morning reflection and an evening reflection. So you participate in it twice a day, which will kind of be a lot at first to kind of get in the habit of doing something morning and night. And it just has like things to read. So I'll link this down below. A lot of people suggest getting like a journal to go along with this because there's not enough space necessarily to get like all your thoughts out on paper. But I feel like this would be very good for me to just start in the new year. I know we all have different goals and I feel like each year I kind of want to like better myself in certain ways I feel like all of us do I feel like it's a good way to kind of like start over start fresh and develop new healthy habits so I'll link this down below if you guys want to do it with me in the new year I'm excited to start it so that's the haul I'm gonna change probably and we're gonna go do the Christmas light thing and go to dinner and just have a good relaxing night and um yeah i'm gonna vlog more tomorrow <laughs> because i was i was just really i'm like worn out from just life so i took it easy this morning but more vlogging tomorrow will be done for once in my life i didn't plan ahead and look things up and just have a plan i just decided to go with the flow and this is my my advice to every girl that is in my situation that wants to be a go with the flow girl 
don't, don't, don't. Because we get there, I didn't realize that you had to pre-buy the tickets online. I thought you can kind of just like show up because it's like a walkthrough and I get it, it does. It makes sense that it would sell out. Like now it's like just making sense to me. Of course it's gonna be busy. It's the last Saturday night before Christmas and it was sold out. So, but I found something else. I found a drive through Christmas light show. It's a little bit far, it's on iDrive, but we don't have to get out of our car. We could just drive through. There's tons of restaurants over there so we can eat dinner over there, kind of switch up restaurants too. We could try and eat a restaurant that we don't normally eat at as well. And um, yeah, so if you're interested, it's called, let me actually like verify what it's called. It's called Night and Lights, and if you are a Florida resident, it's on International Drive, and there was a coupon code to get $20 off. It's like $45 per car. So with the Florida resident coupon code, it, it was like local 20. I don't know how long the coupon code is running for, but it might be running through the whole duration of the event, which is until January 3rd. And um, I used local 20 when I like bought the $45 ticket for the vehicle, and it took off $20. So worth it in my opinion and um yeah so that's what we're gonna go do right now i just got gas in my car so i can make it over there because it's a little bit it's like 25 30 minutes away so we're gonna go do that and that'll be our fun little christmas thing before the christmas holidays because i know these events are open until um like after christmas up until the new year but it's more fun to go before Christmas leading up because it's like the fun and excitement leading up until Christmas. It's just different going before, you know, so. If you think about it. It's the next day. We just drove all the way out to Lake Mary to try the coffee flight thing again. I tried to go last weekend, but if you guys saw that vlog, you know that their water broke or got shut off an hour before they were supposed to close. So they ended up closing an hour early. So we're trying it again this weekend and it's the last weekend before Christmas. So it's the perfect weekend to try a holiday coffee flight. I don't know if we're gonna get it iced or hot. It is in the 60s today, and that's cold for me personally. But I think they taste really good iced, so maybe we'll get it iced, and we're gonna rate them, taste test them. It's gonna be a lot of fun.
Okay, so here are the flavors. I'm gonna try them first and then Christian's gonna try. You have to like tilt it back and then it comes on really quick. <laughs> it's good. It's like cinnamon. But it's throwing me off because this one looks like cinnamon's on top. It's pretty good. It's good. I like it. Okay, next one. Silver bells. <laughs> This one looks like it's gonna be really cinnamon. <laughs> I can't tell what the flavors are. It's like vanilla cinnamon. Okay. It's good. I feel like they're all the same. <laughs> What's the difference? This one's more cinnamon. This okay. one's more like kind of vanilla. Okay. Okay, so this one's more vanilla. And this, well, I mean, it has the cinnamon on top. Okay. Slate right now. What? The one came on top. This one's like a Okay. No. I don't even know. I can't tell what any of these flavors are. Why don't we go? You guys are so nice. Puppy! It hurt last time you caught the spelling right here. <laughs> Can you tell? It's like a hazelnut. Hazelnut? Like a nutmeg hazelnut? Like a nutty something. Something. <laughs> they're, all, they're all good. I know. I might have to go back through a second round to see which one I like best. Okay. Yeah, you got you to gotta taste them all next to each other. Should we put this in? Yeah, put that in. Just stir with that. Oh. You hate peppermint. You hate peppermint at all. You hate the peppermint mixed with the coffee. I like peppermint milkshakes. True. I like peppermint. I like peppermint bark. You think that tastes like mouthwash? I don't think peppermint goes good with coffee, to be honest. Okay, I think the flavor is first. Silver bells is second. I think this is third, and then mistletoe is fourth. Mistletoe is fourth? Okay. I got it. What do you rate? Turn it around so it can face me. They all start to kind of taste the same. Okay, so mine was this, was then one. one, two, three, four. This was your one? Yeah. Three, four, two, one. Okay, so we both agree that this is number one. Yeah, so that's one. Okay. For sure.
gonna do a quick haul of this is all Publix and then probably one of the smallest Trader Joe's hauls we've done but we really don't have a lot of freezer room and I really just didn't think we needed a whole ton of stuff either but I'll start over here got some Siete sea salt tortilla chips these are really good I always go to Publix and get poppies these are my favorite things to bring with me to work in the afternoon after lunch when you just want something extra I always bring a poppy and then I have a snack with me and it's just super satisfying it's something different than water these are my favorite flavors I love the coca-cola one I love the orange the root beer cherry limeade is so good and then i just love the doc pop we're doing sandwiches for meal prep this week it's the last week before christmas so it's just easier we're doing white american and then we got cracked pepper turkey so we're gonna do that if if you guys want to buy anything please buy these they are so good i eat one of these or three of them every single day i look forward to coming home from work and eating one they are so delicious you have to get the hot ones if you like spicy or hot things the original dill ones are really good but to be honest the hot ones i highly recommend i have got my two best friends on them as well got some Rayos vodka sauce it was on sale so i really buy these when they're on sale because they are kind of pricey but the ingredients are really good of course i got a pineapple for my breakfast siete taco seasoning for tacos my favorite milk is the milk's cashews by elmhurst it's so good so delicious coconut yogurt siete chipotle barbecue these are incredible lesser evil popcorn i get the himalayan pink salt this stuff i just i bring to work in a huge bag every single day and it's my favorite snack at the moment so i go through these so quick so that's publix now trader joe's of course we got the elote corn chip dippers these are so good with the chunky guacamole got center cut fillets we always get those there really good price for center cut fillets gorgonzola gnocchi this is so good sesame honey almonds christian likes these this is honestly really good it has peanuts in it too which is like a nice crunch i don't know how to describe it this is probably one of our favorites really good with the vegetable fried rice this is another one of our favorites so good if you crack an egg in the middle of it and just mix it all together it's really yummy got some spinach tortellini this is also another one of my favorites too the rice cauliflower stir fry it tastes really good honestly with any of their frozen meats like this and just if you wanted to do it with ground turkey or ground beef or anything like that and kind of make your own at home style stir fry these i saw in the holiday section the hot cocoa ornaments never done this before usually they're sold out of them but you just add milk maybe i'll do it by myself next weekend because christian's going home for christmas and then these sweet potato crackers are so good we got some of those and then we needed a restock on our garlic powder 21 seasoning salute which i meal prep with and then onion salt and then we picked up this green goddess seasoning blend as well so that's the haul big grocery restock weekend for sure okay i'm gonna open up day 18 of the advent calendar what is this oh the belief moisturizer i've used this before in the past it has been a few years i think since college i haven't used it i think i discovered it maybe my junior or senior year of college and i haven't used it since so i'm excited to try it back out again so this was day 18 a week till christmas it's so crazy okay just wanted to there's like a weird shadow on my face i just parked at my dad's house my whole family is over because it is the boat parade weekend and my dad well my childhood home is on a lake it's like on a chain of lakes and each lake does a boat parade each day of the weekend so it like starts on the last lake on friday night and then the middle lake on saturday night and it's sunday night so sunday night is like our lake 
and um, I've grown up watching this parade for however many years and it's still just as fun to watch as an adult as it was to watch as a kid and the whole family comes over and we get together and yeah we ordered pizza and we're just doing that tonight and it just gets me so excited for the holidays I can't believe next weekend is Christmas and the family's getting back together again next weekend and I just I feel really lucky I never wanted to like move away for life or college I always like being really close to family and being close to home and I feel so lucky that my whole entire like immediate family like my brothers and sisters and um, my nieces and nephews all are in Orlando and I feel really lucky that we all live within like five to ten minutes from each other and we can all get together super easily to do things like this so I'm excited I'll vlog a little bit tonight I'm wearing my Amazon puffer I got it it's kind of hard to show um, I have it in black and brown and it's kind of like on the crop side but yeah I really like it I figured it'd be perfect because it's gonna drop into the 50s and I'm wearing just like a thin aloe yoga cropped like t-shirt type of thing and I brought an Olipop the crisp apple flavor a Stanley of water I've done a lot of holiday and Christmas themed things like activities this season and I'm so glad that I've had the opportunity to do them all I've really just packed them all into each weekend because it's just fun and it makes the lead up to Christmas that much more fun so I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlogs and things like that and the little activities that we do as well but anyways I'm gonna go in